What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 405th edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. It is, what is today? It is Thursday, February 7th, 2019. We are brought to you in part by Good Vibes CBD Oil. Good Vibes will not only drastically reduce your anxiety symptoms, you will also get some of the best sleep you've ever had. If you want to support the show and get your hands on the best and most effective CBD oil around, go to DonovanSharp.com and buy it through my affiliate link. Use promo code Donovan15 to get a 15% discount. Again, that is Donovan15, Donovan15 to get 15% off. We are also brought to you by Tactical Soap. Tactical soaps are formulated with bio-identical pheromone blends designed to enhance the alpha male attitudes that women love and men respect. You can buy Tactical Soap through my affiliate link on DonovanSharp.com and be sure to use the pro promo code Donovan to get an additional 10% off. If you guys have a question or comment about why the fuck men are afraid of women, give me a call, 914-205-5356. Again, that's 914-205-5356. And let me just make sure that we're, okay, we're on the right channel. I was like, dude, what the hell is going on with this? My guest this evening is none other than the man, the myth, the legend, Steve, Steve the Dean Williams. And Steve, the, the show topic tonight is why the fuck so many men are afraid of women. Now, this is kind of, uh, it, it's not similar, but a lot of men will make, the argument, the same argument. I had Kevin Samuels on last week, and we were talking about why so many why so many grown men are living with their mothers. And a lot of guys were like, well, you know, it's expensive. Um, you have to be making X, Y, Z amount of money per year to live by yourself, which was all complete bullshit. Um, you don't need to be making 65, 70 grand a year to live by yourself. Well, people say, people will make the excuses that men are afraid of women because of hashtag me too, false rape accusations, false domestic violence accusations. I've been a victim of, of, of almost being falsely accused of, of domestic violence. Luckily for me, I had my phone. I recorded the ensuing conversation after she got up the phone with 911. They detained her. I don't know if they arrested her and never talked to her again. But Steve, why do you think men are so afraid of women? And why do you think they continue to make excuses as to why they are? Well, they, they thank you for having me on. I'm in the cockpit of the car, but oh, they, 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 the, the, the reason why they have the issues and the problems, it's not the me too, because a lot of these guys can't even get to the me too point of talking to a woman. <laughs> see, see uh, w the, the truth of the matter is, again, it has nothing to do with the woman. And always I'll believe it has everything to do with the guy, but it, it's really deep because if you look at guys today, Donovan, you've got, you got the guy that walks out his door kicking himself in the ass, telling himself he's bad. You've got the guy that can't approach the woman. So he's afraid because he doesn't know how to talk to the woman. Right. Then you got the guy who can approach the woman, but when he gets to her, he doesn't know what to say. So he's afraid because if he says something wrong, he's going to feel like a fool. Then you got the guy that can do that and then, you know, transfer information, but he doesn't know what to say to her face to face or on a date, or on the telephone, things like that. Let me hurry it along. Then it goes to the guy that doesn't know how to do the date. And last but not least, at the end of the day, what all of them have in common is, and this is going to sound crazy, but this is real. They don't know how to fuck. Uh -oh. They don't know how to eat pussy. They don't know how to talk to the pussy. They don't, look. They they think what they see on porn is fucking, there but they go. they they don't have what I call. See, they think confidence is the end all be all. Right. But I teach people there's this thing called sexual confidence that these guys don't have. Or and again, they don't know how to kiss. They don't know how to talk yak in her ear to make her play with herself over they the don't phone. Know how to smack ass. They don't know how to smack her ass. They don't know how to put her in a place. So. Because they're afraid and because of the lack of knowledge, they always got to walk on eggshells because of the lack of skills they have, sir. Listen, I, dude, I could not agree. I could not agree more. I absolutely positively could not agree more. There is a big difference between real confidence and sexual confidence. Listen, and you got to have both. You, yes. you can have all the sexual confidence in the world. If you can't, if you're not confident enough to approach and talk to women, you're never going to get a chance to fuck her. Dude, you could have a 13 inch snake, right? 
You could be, um, I don't know, whatever black porn stars are now, King Anaconda, whatever the case may be. But guess what? If you don't have the gift of gab, if you're afraid to talk to women, then you're not going to get a chance to fuck her. By the same token, if you don't have sexual confidence, you're going to be afraid to talk to women anyway because, oh, my God, what if I'm successful? What if she actually wants to fuck me? And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Never, I don't pay attention to a woman's needs in bed. I stopped doing that a long time ago. I don't give a fuck, dude. Now, listen, different people have different opinions about eating pussy. Some guys like to eat pussy. I don't, so I don't. The point is, is that there are many, many reasons why men are, I guess, I think men now are inherently afraid of women. And I and I believe that that's because of the culture. But going back to what you said, there's a difference between confidence and sexual confidence. And I think a lot of guys, listen, a lot of guys lack, if you lack confidence and sexual confidence, Steve, you're not talking to any, you're not talking to well, people who even look like females. Well, you we know what, Donovan, is a few more things. And that, that was, I mean, I'm just hitting them all. A lot of guys yeah. don't know how to make women smile. Yep. A lot of guys don't know how to make women blush. A lot yep. of guys don't know how to make women laugh. Yep. A lot of guys don't know how to make women think. A lot of guys don't even know this, and this goes back to the sexual confidence. They see, they are a one-trick pony. They don't know that there's two sides of the spectrum as far as sexual confidence goes. Yes. They don't know about their nasty side, their freaky, kinky, naughty, and dirty side. They don't know about their, seduc their seductive, sexual, romantic and sensual side. See, they think they just one thing, but they don't know they are made up of so many things. They don't know those things. So what happens is when they meet a woman because of the lack of knowledge or the, the, the bad knowledge, because a lot of guys are looking for the answers, okay? Yes, they go to you. They go to me. But here's the worst part about it. We're giving them fresh milk. But what these guys will do is they will go to other people who don't know about women, who don't know about the pussy in between their ears, who don't know how to talk yet. So what they'll try to do is they'll try to take all these little pieces and put them together. Then they get more frustrated. So it, it, it's really deep when it comes to this, Donovan. Listen, you just said something that made my ears perk up the pussy between <coughs> her ears. Explain to my audience what that is. OK, the pussy between her ears is basically this. When I meet a woman. I'm never going see most guys think women have one pussy and that's the one between their legs. And that's the one they buy drinks for. They buy dinners for, they fight over their friends for wars have been started over that thing between oh, yeah. their legs. What I have been taught from my mentor is I learn how to go after the pussy between her ears because that has access to everything. Yes. It is being able to pay, being able to paint a, a picture in her mind that taps into her emotional and sexual mindset where I go in. I'm not trying to fuck you because I've already I'm going to fuck you when I text you. Right. When I That's first a meet you, conclusion. right? It's a foregone conclusion. But a lot of guys don't know that because a lot of guys, again, I don't want to say because I don't want people to say, well, you're black and only black people have the mouthpiece and all this other stuff. No. Is 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 yak or say yak or whatever your oh, mouthpiece? Yeah, well, yeah, you know what I mean. I'm just saying for those that that feel like we we are different because we're black and we're smooth and all this other stuff. This is any race, any color, Donovan. That's right. It's just knowing yourself. Number one, Donovan knows Donovan Sharp no, no better than anybody else. But Donovan Sharp, which separates Donovan Sharp from everybody else, is Donovan Sharp can present himself to a woman in a way where, are you ready? Where he is the one that's on the throne, where go, she man. has got to prove herself to Donovan. She's got to work hard to, for your time and for, for your, your time, your dick, and your mouthpiece. That's She's right. got to work for that. But, but a lot of guys can't connect that dot, big dog. Listen, I'm going to make a, I'm going to make a sports analogy that explains the, the appearance of the difference between black men and white men as far as game are concerned. Yes, it appears that black men are smoother and they're more debonair and they've got more game. And to an extent, that's true. Now, part of that reason is because we're black men, right? Black men are, and, 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 and in my estimation, white guys are at the top of the sexual totem pole. Black men are, black men are second and the gap is definitely, is definitely uh, closing. Maybe that's a little bit of bias on my part, but if any black man wants to sleep with non-black women, you got to have tighter game because all things being equal, most girls prefer white guys, even black mm -hmm. women. That's mm -hmm. one reason. So, yes. and, and listen, black, black men will always acknowledge, hey, listen, we have to work twice as hard to get half as far. 
Okay, that's fine. But then you can't turn around and admit the same thing about women. Like women, listen, white girls aren't just going to pull down their panties just because you're a nigga and you walk up and say, what's up? Doesn't work that way. I mean, dude, unless you're Russell Westbrook, unless you're a professional athlete, something like right. that. Right. Let me make a sports analogy in terms of the main difference between between black men and everyone else. And this isn't to say that black men have better game or more game. It's just a different game. And I'm going to explain the difference. At the beginning of Super Bowl 48, okay, this is the Broncos and the Seahawks. OK, it was readily apparent from the very start that the Seahawks were going to boat race the Broncos. And the and I remember the one play. It was in the first quarter. I knew it was over. Peyton Manning drops back to pass. Demarius Thomas goes over the middle. Peyton Manning hits Demarius Thomas over the middle out of nowhere. Here comes the pterodactyl himself, Cam Chancellor. Bow! Not dude knocks Demarius Thomas into into the next Super Bowl. Right then and there, I knew the Seahawks were faster, they were better, they were stronger, they were better prepared, they played with more urgency. You understand what I mean? And a lot of people think that a sense of urgency means thirst. No, 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 no. Alan Roger Curry talks about this a lot, especially with mode one. He and I had a we he and I had a disagreement. And when and after the disagreement, we kind of talked about it uh off the air and on the phone. And it, it, and it made perfect sense. He said, listen, man, he said, mode one doesn't work. It, the mode one can work for everybody, but there are certain situations where mode one is the most effective, such as if you are in another city. Listen, I don't have time for games. I'm not going to wine, dine and 69 you. I'm here in Las Vegas or Miami or L.A. for, you know, for two nights. OK, I'm trying to fuck. If you're trying to fuck. Cool. Let's do it. That's a sense of urgency. When you have a sense of urgency, your senses are heightened. Right. All of a sudden now you're running that airtight mode one game. This is what black men are known for. We don't like to bullshit around. Yes, we'll do the indirect approach. Hey, what's your name? Blah, 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 blah. Seven and a half minutes in, I'm already telling you to give me your number because this is this is just how we roll. Dude, we go all in. That, I think, is one of the main differences between, you know, the black man's game, so to speak, and everyone else. But that doesn't but but just because you aren't black doesn't mean you can't run the same style of game. You can't be afraid to talk to girls because you don't look like me or you don't look like Steve. It doesn't work that way. But you know what, Donovan, I always tell guys who aren't black, there is a white, smooth motherfucker that we see all the time. James Bond. Oh, my smooth God. Is, hey, yeah. that, that, that white motherfucking guy is so smooth. He just walk up to the bitches and be like, my name is Bond. James Straight Bond. That's, that's it. That's Straight it. Up. She already Hell, knows. James Bond she, fucks more, bit, more black bitches yes. than niggas. She knows that he can fuck. See, the thing is, and this goes back to the fear. Donovan, we always talk about there's two great fears in a lot of guys. It's okay. the fear of failure. That's the one a lot of guys have, the majority. But I would say, the, no, a, a high percentage. But the majority of these guys have the fear of success. Yes. Because, and their problem is this. If I get her, if she starts talking to me, what am I going to say? That guy. If, if I get her information, what am I going to say to her? If I go on a date, what am I going to do? If she comes over, when do I touch her and how do I touch her and, and, and why do I make this move? So what they do is they say to themselves, you know what? Instead of stressing myself out, I'd rather just stay home, stay on the sideline, or make up an excuse, brother. I totally agree. You guys are listening to the 405th edition of TSR Live at Donovan Sharp with special guest Steve the Dean Williams. You guys definitely need to follow him on all social media. The Man Mindset on Twitter, Steve Williams on Facebook. I think you're also, are you on Instagram as well? Yeah, The Man Mindset. Yeah, Steve Williams and The Man Mindset on Facebook because I got two. You remember like I told okay, you, yeah, I have that's two right. Facebooks. And listen, right. you put me up on game when, uh, <laughs> when, when I got put in Facebook jail. <laughs> also go to themanmindset.com. He does coaching. Um, a stu, uh, Steve does coaching. He does podcasts. He's got a, he's got a, a weekly show every Tuesday where him and Rosebud kind of chop it up. You guys definitely, definitely need to check this out. Here is another reason why, and I'm, I'm, I'm not going to plagiarize. I'm going to give you credit for this. Here's another reason why people or men are afraid of women. Men are afraid to talk to women. It's porn. Porn and, and porn is equivalent to romantic comedies. Okay. Porn for men is akin to romantic comedies to women. That's not real life, guys. If anything, pornography is a more accurate and healthy portrayal of a healthy relationship than romantic comedies. Romantic comedies are all about feelings and all this other. Listen, John Cusack, um, Hugh Jackman, they're not walking through that door any more than, you know, pick a, 
you know, pick a, you know, a, a, a 10 inch dick porn star. Men who watch porn, and this is the one of the reasons, what this is one of the many reasons why I tell guys, listen, man, if you're going to masturbate, masturbate to your spank. You, you shouldn't masturbate anyway, but listen, I know guys got to do it, so fine. But if you're going to masturbate, do it to the spank bank. If you watch porn on a regular basis, Steve, you're watching these dudes with these huge dicks, fucking these little 90 pound girls who are acting like they're having the time of their lives and it gives them a complex. Right. So when you walk up on a pretty girl, you're like, ooh, I don't have a yeah, I don't have a I don't have a nine and a half inch dick. I don't really. This goes back to that sexual confidence. I think that porn is a big reason why men are afraid of women. You know, Dom, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you chuckle on this because you're 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 right. But the first time I'm gonna tell you wrong, and when I tell you wrong, you're gonna chuckle and be like, "Oh yeah, Steve, you're right." Okay. See, Donovan is right what he's saying about the porn. You're a thousand percent right. But where I disagree with Donovan, he's about to laugh. Is this and this is what y'all guys understand? You see, in porn, they have categories of what the women do. Right? They have all different categories. Okay. Right. And what these guys understand is the key word, and it always will be, is man. Yes. You see, a woman will do those things that, that you see in porn, but she won't do them to the average guy who doesn't know what he's doing. Ooh. She will do it to the Donovan Sharps of the world yes, because the thing about the Donovan Sharps of the world is this one thing that they will do. See, if they finally get a woman... And she's like, well, you know, I like the, I like the, I want to use handcuffs, or I, I want to dress up like a schoolgirl. I want you to dress up in a bunny outfit or whatever the fuck. Right. The first thing the regular guys are going to do is like judge them. Why would you dress that way? Why you know just judge them and shame them and not doing it. Now the Donovan Sharks of the world, we embrace their sexuality. That's right. We embrace their dirtiness. Which then makes them do everything, every, like everything that you see in porn. Uh, we as men are capable of getting that, but God well, let me right. say, let me, let, but let me, let me make this be clear now. Okay, this is not where Donovan Sharp walks up to a woman and says, "How you doing? My name is Donovan Sharp." The porn music comes on and she starts <laughs> sucking his dick. Doesn't work that way. Now it might work sometimes, but not all the time. But it doesn't work that sure. way. What we're saying is this. Is sex starts when you first meet. That's why I always tell guys, Donovan, when I meet a woman, I'm shaking her hand because I want to make contact with her. Right. Most guys are just, you know, keeping that friend zone gap. That's right. I want to make sexual contact with her. I want to have my conversation sexual. It doesn't have to be filthy, but it can be flirty, romantic, dirty, whatever I want. Uh, when I text her, the same thing. Hey, sexy, how you doing? I am not here to waste my time, nor you, Donovan. We don't waste our time. But the fact that we do that makes women want to peel back the curtain, and they are then willing and open enough to do the stuff you see in porn. That's but exactly it, right. it doesn't just happen, but it's a process. I didn't mean to go too long. but No, 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 no. Listen, by all means, be long-winded. Here is a here is a, here is a next-level game tip. I actually spoke about this uh, when I had Jonathan from Modern Life Dating. And what Steve says is hyper, hyper important. You want to make you want to make physical skin to skin contact with a woman so that she gets used to being touched by you. You have something on your face. What's on your mouth? We all, I mean, you know, those who have been in the game for a little while, they know about those techniques. Here are here are two other techniques, especially especially if you're out for drinks. Or if you happen to be out on a dinner, listen, just because you're fucking a girl doesn't mean you stop flirting with her when you take her out, right? So here's what you do. If you're out for drinks, here's what you do. You buy, you guys both get your drink. She's got a vodka and Coke. You've got a whiskey sour, right? You reach over, you grab her drink. You take a drink. Oh, that's actually not bad. Here, try mine. She tries like, oh, yeah, yeah, not bad. You both go back to drinking your drinks. Guess what? She knows. That you you have now drank from her glass and she has drank from yours. You guys have exchanged bodily fluids. That's listen. That might sound like it's no big deal, but there's something very very powerful about a woman drinking after you. About you drinking after a woman. If a woman does not want to fuck you, this is a very good indicator on the first date that she is thinking about sex. If she doesn't allow you to drink after her, or if she doesn't let, or if she doesn't drink after you, there's a pretty damn good chance that she's probably not trying to fuck you that night, right? That doesn't mean she won't. 
Okay. But if she doesn't allow you to exchange bodily, if, if a woman doesn't want to drink after you, what makes you think you're going to kiss her? Here's another way. Let's say you're out on a dinner date with a girl. You take her. Hey, how's that taste? You grab her fork, dip it in there. Hmm, that's actually pretty good. Here, try mine. Same spoon. Boom. You're swapping bodily fluids. So again, it's Chase Rubin has got to break that boundary. Absolutely. So men are afraid to touch women. Women, men are afraid oh, yeah. to touch women. It's unbelievable. I don't, I don't understand. Now I'm gonna take what you said to another level. They ain't even ready for this shit. But oh, get a crown. They, 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 they ain't, ain't ready, ready but you're gonna give it to shit. them anyway. All right, like she, like you say, she orders her drink, you order yours. You're right. You, you know, you take a sip of hers, and then she takes a sip of yours. But the smooth motherfucker at that point, he's gonna be like, you know what, you know what, that really tasted good. But I want to know how it tastes on you, and then oh. lean in for the kiss. Uh -oh. Oh, you see what I'm saying? Oh boy. That, that's what I'm saying. That's that. That's the stuff they will do things for. But see, a lot of these guys don't know how to make the necessary moves because they choose not to learn women and understand that women are different. They 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 think every woman is the same okay right. donovan right and that is their biggest mistake because if we had a, a woman in a red dress a white dress and a blue dress which one's a slut who's the whore and who's the good girl you the don't know the red dress oh okay well yes, of course yeah but i'm just saying <laughs> right, they, okay. they, you, you 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 don't know but what i'm saying is is that because maybe the woman in the red dress dressed like a slut is a good girl who's just trying to be a slut you don't know right we we don't know until you talk to them enough to get them calm, to let to let their defenses down and realize that you're not the creepy guy or the inexperienced one. This is what I always want to say. See, the thing is, is what these guys understand is, is I always call it sexually safe. Okay. Basically, yes. it's this. If I said, Donovan, if I said, Donovan, come visit me in Texas, and you got on a plane, and you looked in the cockpit, and you see three blind motherfuckers with a stick <laughs> touching the touching the air the, the plane buttons and shit, you ain't going to get on that airplane hell no, because hell no. you know that, oh, fuck, that, I ain't trying to die. But if you got on that plane looking at the cockpit, they're like, break it, break it, 259. You know, we had a net fighting five knots. You got know, the together, plane right. talk. You got their shit together. They, you just hit the word. When you open, see, what these guys understand is it's not when you open your mouth, Donovan. It's the way you approach and look because it tells them the story. Yes. Because if you look at a woman and you look away, she knows you're scary. Right. If you look at a woman, you keep staring at her. Or if you like something and you don't go after it, Donovan, she knows that you are – real quick thing. Let me show you. Let me give you an example. Ladoo, you're right. Listen, I know exactly where you're going. You're right on point. Go ahead. You got it. When, when, when you guys go to the club, you don't understand that – you are being judged as soon as you walk through that door. As soon as you walk through that door, you're going to do one of three things. The one, the guy that goes to the bar is the guy that needs liquid courage to get a woman. The guy that goes to the bathroom is always nervous. The guy that goes on the wall is the creepy guy. They already know you before you walk in there based off of your behaviors. But you know what? Donovan Sharp walking that motherfucker with me. We talking to the first group of beautiful fucking women we see because we ain't here to bullshit these women. That's right. And that's what gives us value. I didn't mean to go too long, but no, no, you know, that's no, no, no. Listen, go, listen, go as long as you want. Young Peasy says, quote, hell no, I'll never drink behind a woman on the first date. You tripping, brah. Is that right? See, young Peasy well, has just let no, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let, hold on. Listen, I get first dibs, right? Get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> So young Peasy would have us believe that he would never drink after a woman on a first date. So I guess you're not trying to kiss her on a first date either. Like what exactly is the difference between kissing a woman and drinking after a woman? See this right here, this guy, young Peasy has just told us two things. Number one, he's probably fucked exactly two women in his life. One of which he's probably related to. Right. And number two, he's afraid of women. Right? Oh, I'd never drink after her on a first date. You're a meathead red pill guy. You would have us believe that you are so picky and selective about women that you would never drink after a woman on a, on, on a first date. Listen, you're, you're, you're full of shit. You're lying. Of course you would drink after a woman on a first date if you would kiss her. And if you wouldn't drink after a woman on a first date, then you're not going to kiss her, which means you're not going to fuck her. You're afraid of women. Nice try. You, you know, th this, this is what shows, and this is why I hope young Peasy can understand. If Donovan and I can sense the weakness in you, 
Think how fast a woman senses you in you, big dog, by the Ooh. statement that you made. There it is, man. Because regardless if you're drinking her after her or kissing her, you are exchanging bodily fluids, period. So yes. you, if you're telling me you won't drink after her, then you're telling me you won't kiss her. And the fact that you sat there and see the thing with a lot of you guys where y'all lose is that you think you know it all and you know nothing at all. And that's why you lose. That is the most asinine, weak, spineless, excuse my language, bitch ass comment I've ever heard out of a motherfucker. Talking about, I'm not going to. To watch or listen to the rest of this episode, go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.